Now let's go over how to use moving averages with our candlestick patterns. Moving averages are one of the most popular overlays used by traders. They are represented by a colored line that shows the average price of a stock over a selected period of time. The number or length you select for your moving averages will determine the amount of days calculated into the moving average. For example, the 200 day moving average will show the average stock closing price for the past 200 days. Moving averages can provide you with all sorts of stock data, such as with helping you identify when a trend has either begun or ended. They are among the most popular overlays that are used for technical analysis. The two lines applied to the candlestick day chart shown here are the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average. They represent the closing price average from the past 50 days and the past 200 days. You can see that the 50 day moving average appears to be much more volatile than the 200 day moving average. The more days calculated into the moving average, the less the line will appear to move. The shorter the time period that is selected for the moving average, the more signals the line will generate. The 200 day moving average is considered to be one of the best for determining a stock's long term trend. If a stock's candles are closing above the 200 day moving average, it is typically considered to be in a bull market. If closing below the 200 day moving average, this is usually a sign that the stock is in a bear market. Applying both the 50 day and the 200 day moving averages together on a candlestick chart can provide great insight into the price action and movement of the stock. A great trading strategy to use with moving averages is called the moving average crossover strategy. When an X is formed when the 50 day moving average passes the 200 day moving average to the upside, this is called a golden cross. A golden cross is an extremely bullish signal which tells us that the price is likely to continue upwards. When an X is formed after the 50 day moving average crosses below the 200 day moving average, this is called a death cross. A death cross is one of the most bearish signals you can receive. When a death cross occurs, you can expect the price to fall and move into a downtrend. Moving averages not only provides insight into trend direction, but can also serve as support and resistance levels. For example, when the stock is in an uptrend, the 200 day moving average can serve as a support level that the stock will bounce off if it falls. If a stock is in a downtrend, the 200 day moving average can serve as a resistance level that the stock may have a hard time trying to break above. There are also several different types of moving averages that you could use. Most people just use simple moving averages, but others such as exponential moving averages are available as well. Exponential moving averages are calculated similarly to simple moving averages, but gives more weight to the more recent time periods. This actually provides more accurate data and responds faster than simple moving averages. Using moving averages is a reliable and proven strategy. If you didn't know any other indicator or overlay and only spent time mastering moving averages and candlestick patterns, you could still be very successful at trading. So now let's head over to tradingview.com and look at how to apply and use moving averages on our candlestick chart. The candlestick chart shown here is the S&P 500. It's actually been in a downtrend for the past three months or so. So before we add our moving averages, let's zoom in and see if we can identify any candlestick patterns. So let's look at this last drop that we had here at the beginning of December and figure out if there was any way that we could have predicted that this would happen. We can see the stock was trading in a sideways channel, but then a bearish evening doji star complex pattern formed. As we went over in the previous section, this is a very bearish signal that says that the bears are coming in to take over. By identifying this pattern, this would have been a great way to either sell your position or to go short at this point. But to reinforce our signals, I like to back mine up with other indicators and overlays. So for this example, let's add in the 50 day and the 200 day moving averages and see if we can get any more information. I'm just going to go up to the top toolbar and click on the indicators icon. I'm then going to type in moving averages. You'll notice that you have multiple to select from, but I'm just going to select the one that simply reads moving averages. So now you can see that a blue line has been added to our chart, which represents our moving average. I believe the default length is 9 on trading view, so let's change this now. I'm going to double click on the line and change this one over to the 50 day moving average. You'll notice that after we increase the amount of days calculated into the moving average, the line appears to be much straighter. In order to use the moving averages crossover strategy, we'll have to add the 200 day moving average as well. Let's do that now. And there we have it. Now we have both the 200 day and the 50 day moving averages on our candlestick chart. You can see that for over two years, the 50 day moving average stayed above the 200 day moving average, keeping the S&P 500 in a strong bull market. But right around the area where we received our bearish evening doji star pattern, the 50 day moving average crossed below the 200 day moving average, forming a very bearish death cross. With these two patterns occurring at pretty much the same time and place, this pretty much confirmed that the stock is about to drop. 
From here, the bears rushed in and the stock had a sharp decline. So as you can see, reinforcing your candlestick patterns with other indicators and overlays such as moving averages can take your trading game to a whole nother level. In the next lecture, we'll discuss combining candlestick patterns with the MACD indicator. I'll see you in the next video.